Hey, what is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to cover the next day in this series. Now, the reason why I'm breaking out in, in, in days is I'm not getting too much time to spend on this. So day zero, although it was only a couple minutes, 10 minutes, same with day one. Um, a lot of that is me also playing around with it and then providing that information to you guys. I'm only getting about an hour to two hours a day to kind of get in here when I'm making these types of videos, sometimes more, but sometimes less. Uh, but in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover the um, on how to get our lovable web app and sync it with GitHub. And then we're going to go ahead and also pull it down into cursor. And I'll explain why in this video. So pretty straightforward in day one, if you're not familiar with what we are doing in day one, we had created a web app using lovable. Uh, we use ChatGPT to create a more detailed prompt. We had uh, prompted lovable and we got a decent start. And then we went ahead and made some changes that uh, just to make it better for for us, a uh, better starting point. Now with that, uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and put it onto GitHub. So very simply at the very top uh, right of your screen, you can go ahead and find this button that says sync your project to GitHub. Click on that and it's going to open up a settings dialog. And in there, you're going to see connected account. Go ahead and connect your GitHub account. After you add it, you're going to be brought to the screen here and it's going to ask you to add an organization. Click on that button and then in there, you're going to either select all repositories or you're going to only select certain repositories. And I'm going to go ahead and select the repository that I had created for this purpose. As you can see here, I had selected the hacker's notebook and then I'm going to go ahead and hit install and authorize. Next, we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is ticked on and then click on continue. Click on connect. Now keep in mind, this is going to be a two way sync. So any changes that are made here will also be made on um, the GitHub and then and vice versa. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and use cursor. Now, the reason why we want to use cursor is we pretty much want to iterate. Uh, it's an IDE that allows us to make changes to the code, but also uh, use the agent to chat with it and also make changes to the code. Uh, so this will pretty much be our partner in order for us to continue to iterate and make this uh, application come to life. Now, after you open it up, you're going to have a few different options depending on if you had used it before. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and click on clone repo. And then we're going to go ahead and paste in that repo in here. All right. So after you put in that information, you're going to be brought to a screen where it asks you to select a destination, select that destination, uh, wherever you would like that folder to be. And then it will clone, pull down that repository to your local machine. Now I'm not going to walk you through on how to install Git, although this is something that could be, you know, done in a future video. But now that we have this open, if we go to terminal and we do a new terminal, and uh, as you can see, we're already in that directory. So if we do um, git log, we're going to be able to see the most recent commit. So as you can see, the last one will be that when we, when we remove those buttons, and you can see we updated the feature section, the icons, et cetera, et cetera. So now we are in our git repo. So the cool thing about this is if we ever make any changes, like I said, that will um, allow us to go back if we make any mistakes. Um, but it also with now that we have sync, we could also make those changes in here in cursor, or we can make it within lovable, or within GitHub directly itself. So to show you an example of how this would all work, if we went into our index.html, and let's just say we want to change this to let's put it just put an exclamation point here at the end. So it's just a subtle change. And then we're going to go into the terminal down here and just to get status and you can see that get status, there is a change that is uh, not staged for commit and then we're gonna do get add. Now if we do that again, you're gonna see that it is staged. And we're gonna do get commit dash M. And we're gonna just put a commit and just say modified. All right, and now we should be able to push, uh, although there might be some all right, it seems actually to work just fine just because we had cloned it. Um, and everything's already configured. So we have we committed that. So now, as you can see, if we do git log, you can see that we have that modified title and it is pushed up to main. Ideally, uh, another way that we would do that or that we'll, what we are going to do is we're going to create branches. So we don't break anything on the main branch because we know that this branch works perfectly fine as we're creating different features. And so if we open back into GitHub, obviously, if we refresh this page, we're going to see that there was a commit on index.html. But not only will you see it there, now that we have everything synced and we refresh this page here and if we inspect the page, um, I meant to change the actual HTML of this here, but uh, obviously I changed the title tag and I didn't think twice, but at least it'll still get the point across um, and you will see that we now have that code up here. So in the title tag, we now have that exclamation point. And then if you view the chat here on the left, 
you could see that uh, the sync had happened and it says the modified title, which is the commit. And if we click on code, and we close this out, and we should be able to view it on GitHub and that would bring us right to the uh, commit. And th there you go. All right, so a few things to note, I am all I'm using just the free version. Uh, so with all of that, we still have two free credits remaining for today. I think you get a total of five a day. When I replit, you'd only get five total and then you're done. Uh, so five a day is pretty cool. We already get a lot done with just um, doing the uh, various changes that we had already made. And then we also have within cursor, we have uh, whatever it is, 200 credits or something like that. I forgot how much. Um, but that is all on the free version. And then eventually I'm going to be using the paid version to accelerate this process and make sure that we can take full advantage of these applications. And the cool thing about all of this, obviously, so using cursor, say you did actually want to make a change on here and um, you want to make an actual change to the, the maybe the description below that title there, snap a picture of it, throw it in there and say you would like to make a change to that. I said, where can I make a change to the description below the your ethical hack notebook? provided we want to get rid of that context of the index.html because it's not uh it's not what we want and then if we click on that we'll be able to chat with our source code essentially trying to figure it out now there's obviously different tools that provide the same use case um, but cursor is definitely one of the you know ones that are out there that are more popular uh, and also i feel like it's a good price considering what you get out of it but as you can see here we have the hero section so if we click on that we will be brought right to it which is just simply amazing and now we have the organized your CTF challenges, just exactly what we were looking for. And then here is the your ethical hacking. And then this would be the notebook. If we want to put an exclamation point here, we could totally do that. Uh, so just to show you what I mean. So if we do git, we'll just do it all again. So we'll just do git add. It would help if I saved it. Now we'll do git push and we'll pretty much be at the same thing. But now if we go back into that browser and we'll click on refresh, we should be able to see and it just took a free a few refreshes took about a minute um but as you can see your ethical hacking notebook and it now has that exclamation point all right and that's going to close out today's video in today's video we quickly went over um on how to sync our lovable project to github and what that is it is a two-way sync so any changes that are made within lovable will be also made in the github repository and then any changes that are made in the github repository whether we use it through cursor or through the github repository itself it will then make those changes back into lovable um, another thing that we covered is the amount of credits that you get for free per day which is five and that is pretty forgiving i feel like giving you enough to work with at least for demos and dem and, and just development and testing uh, we were able to get within two days two of these uh, youtube video days uh, day one we created this application and day two we now synced it and made some additional modifications using cursor so today we brought it down the cursor and we brought it into our GitHub. In the following videos, we're going to go ahead and get more in depth in actually developing this application. In next week's video, we're going to go ahead and focus on getting a working demo for this notebook. Um, and in that video, it might be a little bit longer, but we're going to make sure that we're able to create notes. We're first going to start with uh, fixing this format and making sure that we could see the text uh, similar to what we see in the preview. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, obviously make sure that we could save it and stuff like that. This is just a demo. There will be no saving or anything like that. Um, and then in a future video, obviously, we're going to have to have some authentication, authorization, some, some subscriptions and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to go pretty in depth and we're going to cover it every step of the way. Um, but that's it for today's video. I hope you were able to take something away. And as always, never stop learning.